This silver object here is actually an inkstand, but recent research has revealed there's more to it than meets the eye, and in fact it contains a bit of a surprise. It was made in about 1810 in the court of Württemberg in um, Germany, um, in the capital city Stuttgart, by the court goldsmith whose name was Johann Christian Sick. It came to the Royal Collection um, through Queen Mary's father. He left her a huge number of objects of this type, particularly small decorative pieces that she was particularly fond of. This one it actually looks almost like a small boat and, in, and Sick has increased that impression by um, creating sort of planks underneath. It was, it was quite a traditional form for an inkstand, but in this case he's added these amazing sort of sea serpents which act as the stands at either end. At this end we have an inkwell, and this little box here would have acted as a container for holding wax wafers. You would impress in the wax your seal. When we were working on this um, object for conservation um, for a forthcoming catalogue of silver in the collection, uh, we realised that this seal was particularly heavy. Our conservators took a closer look at it and they realised in fact that it contains a small musical box and they've um, managed to recreate the mechanism inside. It was not working because of missing parts. Also, some parts were broken. I've made a wheel and two pinions for the mechanism. The wheels were made by cutting little uh, teeth with a profile cutter. Well, one of them has 56 teeth on it and uh, was then put in a watchmaker's lathe to finish it and to make it look the way it's supposed to and drill the holes in the centre of it. The hardest part of the process was making the tiniest pinion inside the mechanism itself, which had a diameter of one millimetre and um, was produced to very, very high tolerance. That tiny little pinion is the last bit of resistance and friction, um, making sure that the barrel with all the pins rotates in a more or less uniform way. After that, um, the mechanism was being put together again, making the link basically complete again and making sure that all the wheels engage again with one another and giving the proper delay for the barrel to play its right music. It was very pleasing actually to produce something that small and being able to uh, fit it inside the mechanism itself. So I was really pleased by the fact that it played music again after a long time. Since we got the object back from the conservation workshops, we've been able to hear the music for the first time, which is very exciting. It's rather quiet, but um, we can now make out something of the tune. And one of the things we've realised is when you place the seal onto the um, central box, it seems to act as a kind of amplifier, and so the music is, is actually magnified. One of the interesting things about working on catalogues of this type is it brings out some of the objects that are perhaps less well known in the collection. And now this conservation work has been done, it's really interesting to see how this object originally appeared when it was first made and perhaps gives us a better idea of its creation and how it's ended up in your collection. We don't yet recognise the tune, but there's still much more research to be done um, and this is a good start.